most important feature is really that uh, is a thing which you don't see, and that is that we are going to pre-climatize the batteries because we know that the lithium-ion cells um, do really not like it when it's colder than minus five degrees Celsius or warmer than 30 degrees Celsius. And by having this system, we will be able to secure that the life expectancy of the battery will be as good as possible. Because if you have a lithium iron battery exposed to very, very high temperatures, very, very many days per year, that will have a negative effect on the life expectancy. And remember, the battery is, is one of the biggest costs of the car. One of the questions which we always get is this range question. And uh, yes, of course, there will be certain situations where you might need to go longer than you normally do on a regular basis. A fuel cell could be an opportunity in that uh, respect and uh, we are working with PowerCell to find a, an environmental smart way of uh, adding sort of energy from a new source into the batteries. There are going to be smaller vehicles that are mostly designed for runabout errands in the city and there are other vehicles that might have a blend of gasoline and electric technology that would take you a lot further if need be. The point is, there's no silver bullet, there are a lot of different options, every auto manufacturer is considering the full range of different solutions to this problem of how you go further on less energy and with fewer emissions. It's very, very clear for many of us in the industry that the battery will be a very, very integrated part in the car. And uh, every car is unique uh, as, a, as a starting point, and that means that having standardized replaceable batteries will be difficult to, to find solutions for that. We also believe that from safety point, you know, we have to absolutely secure that uh, the, car, the batteries are bolted in in a very, very good way that is consistent with our safety demands. And you can also say that with swappable batteries, you will end up in some other kind of very interesting technical challenges like uh, contacting and also the communication between the battery and the car itself. So there, it's, n it's not an easy thing to, to do and uh, we believe from Volvo's point of view that the battery will stay with the car. Mm -hmm. The business concepts will uh, vary between uh, countries in the world and um, many countries are very strongly into leasing models anyway. And uh, yes, there could be a, a possibility to disconnect the battery from the, the cost of the car itself and just have that as a leasing possibility. Uh, and there could be also a future second-hand markets for, for batteries. But it's already very much in the beginning and no one knows really uh, how to set residual values. No one is really clear on uh, if the residual value will actually be the correct one. So there's a lot of risk taking the business uh, by doing so. But in the end I think there will be various a variety of models which will be uh, available for the customer. Thank you.